Hey guys, we're here to show you guys one of the easiest and most effective submissions in the business. That is the bow and arrow uh, choke. Okay, so I have Renato. I took Renato's back. Once you have the guy's back, the most important thing here is control, guys. Sometimes we go all crazy for getting the neck and we forget about to keep the hooks and he easily start to step over the hooks, boom the fin, and I'm going here, all of a sudden, I got myself in a bad situation. My goal here is always first control my opponent here and the back, okay? So the first drill, I want you guys get used to in order to apply the bone and arrow is switch your hooks when you get in the back. So what are you gonna guys do? I'm gonna go with my leg all the way here and I'm gonna go with my leg all the way here. Okay? So we first control, we control, we control. Okay? That's the first step in order to start to develop the, the bone and arrow. Now guys, the second thing. The second thing, the hand, I cannot show him that my hand is coming. Make it easy for him to block, to start to defend himself, and I'm not gonna have much uh, angle to go for the, the, the choke here. So the first thing, sometimes he's blocking himself, you see his ear? I'm gonna try to put my thumb on the back of his ear here, okay? This is very used, especially I come also for a judo background and judo guys, they are very, very good and strong with this kind of defense. So we're gonna put the, bo the bone here, my thumb, in the, in the back of his ear here. Once I reach this, I'm gonna create a tremendous uh, pain on his back here and that's what gonna start to open for me to create a space to get my hand in the collar. Of course, why are we training, why are we just uh, getting a good workout if you're a training partner, there is no need for really hurting him here. But of course, if you are in the heat of a fight, if you are in a tournament, you get it, you need to get a submission, that's the way to go. So again, the, the, the bone here on your thumb, gonna go in the back of his, of his ear, okay? And you're gonna slide here over his jaw over here, okay? And when you slide, you twist because his finger is gonna be in the way. So when you start to go, that's when you're gonna be able to reach over here, okay? So let me see for the other side. Boom, 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 boom. As soon as you reach the collar, you're not even gonna think. You're just gonna do exactly what we did. We switch, boom, okay? As I switch, my hand goes to the pants, and now I'm not gonna open like this. What I'm gonna do, my outside leg is gonna lay on his shoulder, here, okay? Now I'm gonna pull the collar and I'm gonna pull the pants here, and stretch my leg here, okay? It's one of the most beautiful submissions for the pictures, okay? And if you get caught in one of those, pray for somebody don't take this picture because it's gonna be a very bad memory, okay? So let's see for another angle. So I get the back, he defended himself, he controlled the way he wants, I'm going under, boom, boom, collar. Doesn't matter if it's deep, doesn't matter if it's low, what matters is that as soon as you get this, you switch. You see, I'm already in a different angle. I'm not in the back no more, and I'm not giving him much chance to change the game. Then the leg goes over, and I rest here, okay? Now it's about to stretch with your body everything that you have, okay? Most of the people think that it's just turning here. It's not this, it's stretching. I stretch all my body here, and I pull, okay? Different angle. I'm here. Sometimes he's gonna even control like this, no matter. 
Boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be right there. Hand is in the collar, switch. Boom. You see? Boom. And now it's stretch. And control that. Of course, here is also your drill. You're gonna do one side, the other side, and as fast as it is control, as fast as you're able to, boom, get here better. You see that I use my elbow here? Because I don't wanna lay down here. I wanna stay here. And now my leg goes over, and now I stretch. And get the submission. Bone and error is one of the submissions with the highest percentage of uh, efficient. And it's really hard for the guy, once you get all the tools in place, to escape. The only thing he can do is maybe start to hold my hand here and start to escape over here. And of course, boom, this is gonna lead to the arm bar. 